We are back with this one. Lady, you know I hate to kick you when you're down, but that's our thing. That's what we do, right? So here's the latest. Uh, your campaign kickoff rally in Oklahoma was a bomb. Miss Coronavirus is living her life thanks to your gross negligence. Your treasonous love affair with Putin has been exposed once again. And your makeup looks like shit. Oh, also, uh, Joe Biden is still beating you in the polls. It's so crazy what's happening. Here's a guy who doesn't talk. Nobody hears him. Whenever he does talk, he can't put two sentences together. I don't want to be nice or unnice, okay? He could have just said mean. I mean, the man can't speak. I feel like it would have been easier to just say mean. And he's going to be your president because some people don't love me, maybe. You said it, not me. And then they'll say such horrible things. I mean, on the campaign, they'll say such horrible things about me. It's a very unfair business. The last four years with you have been a nightmare. They weren't kidding when they called you, well, unfit. And this final awful year has made it crystal clear that you've really let the country go to sh And many other things. The level of dishonesty in the media is I think they're the most dishonest people I've ever dealt with. No, not everybody. You have honest, you're an honest journalist. You're a great journalist. You know, it's so unfair. Your tiny Tulsa turnout was a turkey. Your latest Twitter tirades may suggest that you're starting to surmise your base is getting wise and I'm really quite concerned that you're depressed. You loser, poor deplorable troll. Try pushing panic and unrest aside to jest about unfounded phony fodder. What a guy. Poor deplorable trolls, your fans, your crew. They come flocking by the tens to watch you demonstrate how well you hold your water. Good for you. The thought of losing makes him squirm. He vowed to win a second term when the devil made him sacrifice his soul. So he fights like he's a champ, but he could not defeat a ramp. He's gonna be your president, because some people don't love me, maybe. What a poor, deplorable troll. Don't forget, before the China plague came in, and it's a China plague. Oh. I love that one. Before that came in, we had the best job numbers we've ever had. If we didn't do tests, we'd look great. So I said to my people, slow the testing down. The president says, cut out all that testing. We look great. A notion health officials find bizarre. bizarre. But see, he's terribly annoyed by all the dead and unemployed because he only cares about his own PR. Girl, please. He doesn't give a crap about decorum. True presidents are noble, not obscene. Dumb son of a- He's so afraid that he might flunk, he just hides out inside his bunker working out his tired, hacky old routine. Cause you're a poor, deplorable troll. No friends, no chums. And I couldn't help but notice all your rallies and events are like your sex life. No one comes. You poor deplorable troll. It's sad, but true. Come flu. All your wacky racist rants have every pundit pro and poll saying you'll lose your election like you've lost your self-control. Kellyanne and Kaylee girls come quick. The boss is in a hole. You believe it? This poor deplorable Girl, don't make me do the reprise.